right in the beginning I have the advice or suggestion for all of those men who are trying to get Filipinas heart there is ultimate one thing you have to do and you will be 100% sure your woman will love you <clears throat> the thing what you need to get to your potential girlfriend or wife I will show you right here but Gwen doesn't know about it yet who are you talking? what? look what I got you where do you get that? you want that? Yeah? Where did you get that? I got it for free, there in the reuse store. Someone threw it away? Yeah. It's new. Is this? How can they throw this kind of thing? They can just use it for summer because it's hot. They're stupid. It's crazy, it's new. Yeah? Oh my god. And it's working. Yeah. So we have a free electric one in our house right now. The thing what is here in our village, there is like a reuse center. Reuse it's center. a small area behind the pub and anything what you have in your house, even if it's like the electric fan, cabinets, the old kitchen things or any, actually anything you are not planning to use anymore and you don't really want to throw it away, you can just bring it there. You will not get anything for that. It's like a donation and someone who will come there looking for the things you will... That person will maybe need, he will get it for free, anything. So today we were right now cooking in the kitchen, in the pub and the lady who is handling that reuse center there came there and Jacob, you're living in a, like, in the city, don't you need the electric fan? And then I said like, yeah, it sounds like... There is already like very hot in the in the city, in our room for rent. So I just came there and I can see it's totally brand new electric fan and it's working perfectly. So why not to take it? So that was actually a very good deal. Are you really kidding me? Because I already can't believe it. Oh well, better believe it because <laughs> this is coming home to us with us. Because I was really thinking a few days ago if I'm gonna buy electric fan, my colleague told me if I wanna buy something because she wanna buy it in her flat because it's already hot. And I was about to tell you about this thing. <laughs> hmm? It's crazy. I really like it as well, it's white. Try it. Oh no. I don't need a blower anymore, I'm gonna use it. Yeah. To dry my hair. <laughs> We do this in the full face, drying our hair with this one because we don't have blower, so we usually use electric fan. And we used to use this as our karaoke when we were younger. <laughs> and I was asking or I was telling the people in the video that if a boy wants to get Filipinas heart, they need to provide electric <laughs> fan. So, is it's your heart mine? Yeah, I'm happy today. I really like it. So much. So cute. I did Thank it you. again. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, I feel like I'm in the Philippines now. Her name is Tessie. So today, guys, we are planning to. They are planning, but not me, to do an exercise. <laughs> not gonna join it. But Kuba and his brother in law are doing that right now. So a few days ago, I was asking them why they're putting numbers on the bricks here, from there, in front, up until here. And they told me that um, there's only a limitation when you're building a brick, bricks um, around your house here in Czechia. And if there could be instances that you built from that limitation is that you can get penalized and the government will have a check here. I'll have it checked here and they will see if they will approve it or not. If there might be instance that um, the bricks are not from the limitation or from the limit, you can, I'm not sure, you can get penalized or they are advising you to remove it. So that is why um, they started, they started removing it. They started removing the bricks and 
they started replacing it with gravels because he told me that gravels are fine putting it around your house but bricks are not fine you can put gravels or all around the corners of your house but except the bricks there should be limitations from those things which is really crazy for me because in the philippines if you have this property already you can do whatever you want but here even even if it's already your property still the government has to decide whatever you want to build in your house or around the house what kind of what kind of design how how much is or what is the size of the the house and like those kind of stuff and it's so surprising for me those things and today's kuba's new life new beginning of his life <laughs> he's gonna try stopping alcohol you said it right just smoking smoking <laughs> yeah starting to do is trying to stop smoking and he's trying to continue or start doing exercising so that is why today we are here at his sister's house doing some training stuff again Hi, yeah <laughs> and his house <laughs> no, <her> house <laughs> and you know women are men are exercising and women are doing other stuff as well so here's Jacob's sister Hello. she's Katka and she's preparing some stuff for, for the dinner so yeah. we're going to prepare a burger tonight uh -huh. while the baby is sleeping yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have the youngest member of the family and she's sleeping at this time so how does a typical czech house or a village house in the czech republic looks like Kuba's sister and his brother-in-law just transferred here. I think it was, I'm not sure, a year ago you transferred here in the house or two years ago? Two years, two years ago. Two yeah, years ago. two years ago they transferred here and it's a very nice place actually I would say. It's, the area is too wide because they're living beside the farm and it's also near the city which is very accessible for them and I would say this area is very nice it's because it's not just it looks like a subdivision for me just like in the Philippines it's quiet and I saw this a year ago that we built this house and it was so funny as well that I told Kuba you know what we can also build this kind of house in the Philippines with eight children because it's common in the Philippines but here this kind of uh, hut or a cottage is just like for things for uh, machines for exercise equipment but this kind of little house in the Philippines you can start like living with eight children <laughs> sexy Kuba, Kuba, Kuba has already big feet <laughs> Me and Martin are done with our exercise. My point of this like taking one outside on Friday to the village or here to the gardens was like she can spend some time outside not being just locked inside of the house in the city. I gave Gwen the opportunity to be in this beautiful place but because of that Gwen is an Asian Belizustan Asians never have enough and they need to work all the time So Gwen is closed there inside working My task is now to Prepare dinner for all of us. Let's gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> they have a perfect thing. This is yeah. like the both sides barbecue. I'm surprised. I was really looking at it. Yeah. We don't have like this at home. <laughs> at, at, first, at first, they told me they don't have a cooking pan. <laughs> so they gave me a pot. And then I found out this there under sitting. <laughs> 
And they did not tell me about it. <laughs> we forgot. We forgot. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. You coming with us? Are you coming with us? Are you coming with us? <laughs> but you have to replace it with something different. That's what harbor means. I will replace it with you. <laughs> but the question is, are they going to accept me? <laughs> Let's see, no problem. Right now, we are in the car wash station. We decided to wash Uba's car because it's been a long time. When I saw this here for the first time a year ago, I was very surprised. Self-service car wash might be hard in the Philippines because most Filipinos would like to ask another person to do the cleaning instead of yourself as the owner of the car. So many like those. I was surprised that I could never see like self car wash in the Philippines. Most of the time it was just the owner of the car wash and the kids were cleaning the cars. Yeah, and I would like to try the car wash as well. Can I? We will be rinsing it. Rinsing, okay. Rinsing. Just water. Okay. And I will do the cleaning. Alright. I actually left the easiest part of cleaning for Gwen. It's just rinsing the car with plain water. So she has to make sure there will be no shampoo, no foam. And she has limited time. So let's see if she can make it just for that limited time. Or else you have to throw another coin. It's Gwen's first time using Pressure, pressure washer. I could see that the car wash services are usually beside the mall. Am I correct? Yeah. But there in the Philippines, there are self-services car wash, but you know, it's rare. And most or commonly, it's beside the highway or beside the road, which is really not a good idea actually. <coughs> it's, you know, it's already traffic in the Philippines, especially in Cebu and there are car wash services that could make the traffic even worse and as well as accidents because it can make maybe make the roads sliding because of wet roads due to those car wash services well the thing what doesn't make sense you really don't want to place the car wash just next to the highway because those people riding on the highway they don't have plan for stopping they just want to get somewhere fast yeah and that's why it's better marketing that you will put the car wash next to the store shopping mall where people are planning to stop go for shopping and when they are shopping coming back to the car they will just say oh here is car wash so when I'm already here I will just wash my car but on the highway people are not really thinking like oh yeah I will just stop here and I will wash the car yeah because there in Cebu I can see those car wash services um, stores and they are mostly beside the busy roads like busy like main highways it's just really crazy <laughs> actually and I think that's also the reason why the mayor uh, the city mayor discouraged the businessmen to stop their services because there were already a lot of accidents because of those drivers who are parking just beside the road which is not good it can cause more traffic and before the end of the video guys i'm gonna give you a little joke or a little funny story like can you imagine what would happen if you would give to a child the tattoo stickers like those are not real tattoo but it's just a sticker and it will fade away after a couple of days and you can actually imagine what would happen to the child the child would be covered with all the tattoos it looks horrible but the child is happy at the moment i cannot clearly show you how the child like this will look like but what i can show you is my adult child who took those tattoo stickers today for Stop kids it. You're exposing me. <laughs> it's that way in the kindergarten. I just tried because they're always asking me if I can try it. So I, I love it. You know, it's nice. Look at me. I'm that woman now. Is there something more beautiful than to see a happy child? <laughs>
And here we are, that's the end of the video for today guys. If you like this video you can hit the like and subscribe button. If any questions hit the comments, we are willing to answer it. Thank you for your huge support, you are really helping with the growth of our channel. And see you in the next video. See you!